Okay, this is going to be exercise 8.2, performing a manual backup of local folders to a remote share. Again, this is found in the Configuring Advanced Server, Windows Server 2012 Services R2, part of the Microsoft Official Academic Course in Preparation for Exam 70-412. In this exercise, we're going to back up to a data folder using the Windows Server Backup and look at how often we should back up a data folder that contains user data files. So this says it should only take about 15 minutes, but we've actually been running kind of fast. So we're going to start by going into storage. I am on storage one. We're going to use our little file explorer down here and open up a folder and click on the C drive. And we're going to do right click, new folder, BAK, enter. Now we're going to right click it, go into properties, and then click on the sharing tab. You're going to create a you're going to create a BAK folder, and then we're going to click on Advanced Sharing. Click on the box that says Share this folder. Click on the Permissions button, and we want to do Allow Change. So everyone should be able to change and read, but not necessarily full control. Yes, you have to sign in as Contoso slash administrator. And then OK. And then close. OK, so from here, we're going to go ahead and click on OK. And then we're going to create another folder inside the back folder. So right click, new folder. BAK1. And then one more called BAK2. Now we didn't share these, but because we shared this file, this, this is going to give the permissions to here. So whatever we have set up here on this folder is going to basically, um, yes, yeah. So whatever we have set up in here will relate to any subfolders we create. All right, so now we're going to go over to server two. Click on tools, because that's where we created our server backup. Um, let's see, go into Windows Server Backup. Last option. And we want to click on Local Backup. And then go over here to the Actions panel. It's thinking. And click on back up once when the prompt comes up we want to click on different options which is already selected mm -hmm. click on next select custom and then next and we're going to add items expand the C drive And select the user's folder. And then the program data folder. And then that brings us to the first question of the lab. What is the program data folder used for? So that's question number one. Well, if we spam program data, what do we have inside our program data? Okay, so from here we're going to click on OK. And then next.
then we want to do a remote shared folder and then next and we want to type in the location slash slash storage 01 slash BAK slash BAK1 and then next and then we're going to click on backup once it's done we're going to click on close and that is the end of that exercise. Did, did you click on do not inherit? I didn't, I didn't change anything on it. Okay, and it was slash slash storage, storage 01 slash BAK slash BAK1. Oh. Yes. Then I must have misplaced storage. Okay. <laughs> okay, so and then once this is done, we're going to click on close. And that's going to be the end of this exercise and the end of this video.